Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about building an employee engagement survey. And I'm not going to be using the old style survey. I'm going to be using Power Apps and SharePoint to store this information. And of course, but I'm going to be using a modern SharePoint list. That's what I'm going to go through in the next series of demonstrations. So I found this blog, uh, 22 questions that you should ask. So I'm going to uh, borrow those questions and build a tool around them. Of course, I'll reach out to them uh, later and ask them if they want to publish my video on how to use that information to build a SharePoint Power Apps tool. Anyhow, I'll borrow that information for now and go through all the steps needed to get that information into a SharePoint and Power Apps app. So I'm going to paste all that. And as you see, they have formatted it rather well. And I've done some outlining here also. So, but first, uh, let's remove that grouping in future oriented and open ended and all that. So, let's remove all of those so that I have just the question and the description of them. Now, in my SharePoint form, I don't really need the motivation for why we have these questions. So, I'm just going to go through and make all of these heading four. Uh, it's my formatting here. I click through that. That's going to take a few seconds, but it needs to be done. Uh, I haven't really found a smart way to find all of these. Let's start with a number. Maybe that's possible, but uh, yeah, it's just 22 items. So I'm just going to do it manually for now. So I'll pause the video and get back to you when I'm done. If you actually do it in the outline view, but with only showing those uh, that are outlined as level four, then it's uh, slightly less boring to do this. So uh, let's uh, do the final ones here. Now I'm just doing this, the formatting of the final ones. And then I'm going to show you how to remove all of those that are not formatted in the correct way. So let's do that. And finally, the, this one. All right. So now if I expand everything here, show all the levels, You'll notice that all of these now are normal. They don't have any special formatting. So if I select all of that, that has no special formatting, no headings are selected here, just the actual body text. So there we go. So that I have only the questions and not the explanations. Then I'm going to do just replace the organization with the company name that I usually use for Microsoft demonstrations. It's Contoso. So now we have Contoso everywhere there. Okay, so we have all of these questions now that I'll, now I want to get them into SharePoint. And of course, you can just save this document into SharePoint, but that will not create me a list, which is what I want to do. So the employee engagement, let's replace the one that I already have there. That's fine. So now I want to get this in as a list in SharePoint. So the way to do that is to use Excel. And next is Excel. And I copied all of those headings and paste them into Excel so I can start working with them. But just default paste and I get some extra line breaks that I don't care for. So in the, instead I'm going to just do match paste special there and do just texts. That will give me just the texts. I'm going to copy that again, insert a new row where I want the data to go at the top there. And then I'm going to transpose all of these over. So I'm going to paste special again and do the transpose. So now I have all the columns in there. And now I'm just going to insert another column again and do a title because we're going to use the title later in this series. And then we format this as a table. And my table does have headers. Those are the ones I want in there. So I'm done with that. And now I'm just going to save that over in my documents there. Employee engagements, that's what I'm working on. So let's just replace that file that I already had. And now into SharePoint, close down Word. We don't need Word anymore for this. We'll just go into my communication site, go into site contents here and create a new list based on that Excel file that I just created. So now I'm going to import that into my communication site from Excel here, upload the file. And the one I just modified here was the employee engagements. Let's put that one into documents where it's below. All right, that's the one we want to work with. So here are all the columns. 
and they're all numbers and that's okay we're going to go in with ratings late, later to work with these and the, but the latest ones here are multiple lines of text that we want to use uh, with that um, otherwise they're all numbers all right so let's run that now so now we're creating that list and see we have all those columns there one two three and so on let's go into the list settings and check that we have them one two three four all the way to 22 let's also see that we have versioning settings turned on yes we do that's great we want that of course that's also a change in the import wizard usually in the old version of SharePoint that didn't get turned on but now it does so that's good so there we have the list now of questions in SharePoint the next step that we're going to do in the next demo is create a power app to work with these items thank you for watching this demonstration